Welcome back with another microbiology lecture sterilization part 2. In previous lecture we were discussed sterilization part 1 that is physical and mechanical methods of sterilization. In this video lecture we are focusing on sterilization part 2 specifically chemical sterilization. So let's get start. Chemical methods are used for heat labile objects like biological material, fiber optics, electronics and many plastic items can be sterilized by using chemical sterilant. The chemical compounds used for sterilization are of two types that is gas sterilization which include plasma formaldehyde ethylene oxide and liquid sterilization which include cresol alcohol aldehydes phenol halogens oxidizing agents and surface agents generally chemical sterilization procedure have the disadvantages of presenting health hazards to users for example poisonous and flammable it mean chemicals are poisonous to human health as well as they are highly flammable which can harm to human body now what is gaseous sterilization the chemically reactive gases like ethylene oxide and formaldehyde possess broad spectrum biocidal activity or killing activity the application of gaseous sterilization are most commonly seen in reusable surgical instruments also gaseous sterilization have application in certain medical diagnostic and electrical equipments and the surface sterilization of powder gaseous sterilization include plasma plasma refers to any gas which consists of electrons ions or natural particles or plasma is gas like substance consisting of particles such as positive ion and electrons in plasma sterilization hydrogen peroxide and para acetic acid is used in devices to induce the plasma the resulting uv radiation causes the destruction of vegetative cells as well as bacterial and fungal spores there are two types of plasma sterilizer that is steward 100s and plaslite sterilizer plasma sterilization is used for those material which do not tolerate high temperature humidity for example plastic and electrical devices etc then we have ethylene oxide ethylene oxide is an alkylating agent that disrupts microbial dna which prevents them from reproducing ethylene oxide sterilization assure that a safe and sterile product will be assured to the market each and every time four components are used during this process that is concentration humidity time and temperature to achieve sterilization ethylene oxide sterilization are unsuitable for fumigation and rooms because of explosive nature it is used for sterilizing plastic and rubber items also used for plastic syringes dental equipments uh, respirators heart lungs machine and surgical gloves formaldehyde are used in aqueous and gaseous form to achieve sterilization they are bactericidal sporocidal and virucidal activity formaldehyde used for fumigation of ot and wards formaldehyde gas is generated by adding potassium permanganate to formalin doors should be remain closed till 48 hours by this way sterilization is achieved by gas condensation on exposed surfaces it is used for anthrax spores kill bacterial cultures and for toxide preparation from toxin also used for preservation of tissues sterilization of vaccines then we have liquid sterilization which include phenolics alcohols aldehydes iodine halogens they include iodine and chlorine these all are chemical disinfectants 
Chemical methods of disinfection are those are used for those chemicals that destroy pathogenic bacteria from inanimate surfaces. Some chemicals have very narrow spectrum of activity and some have very broad spectrum activity. Alcohol or ethyl alcohol, we can say ethanol or spirit which is 70% aqueous solution. The mechanism of actions of alcohol is that they denature bacterial protein and causing vegetative cells dehydration which leads to shrinkage of bacterial cell. It is mainly used for skin as antiseptic for thermometer disinfection. It must used with water in 70% dilution. Ethyl alcohol is effective against fungal spores. The disadvantages of ethyl alcohol, they cause skin irritant, they are volatile and highly inflammable. Then we have aldehyde compound in which 10% aqueous solution of formalin is commonly used. The mechanism of action of aldehyde compounds are that they bend with nucleic acid and protein and inactivate them and Finally, the microbes die. It is used for bacterial vaccine to prepare toxide from toxin, also for bacterial cultures and biopsy preservation. Glutaraldehyde, which commercial name is Sedex, we used it is 2% buffer solution. It is mainly used for sterilization of delicate instrument, that is those instrument which have Lenses like bronchoscope, endoscope, uh, cystoscope, also used for plastic, endotracheal tube, face mask, rubber tubes, and metal instruments. Next come phenol. Phenol include cresol, chlorohexidine, chloroxylol, xylenol. It is effective against bacteria, especially gram positive bacteria and enveloped viruses. Phenols are not effective against non-enveloped viruses and bacterial or fungal spores. This compound is used for decontamination of the hospital environment including laboratory surfaces. Phenol 1% has bactericidal effect which causes cell membrane damage as a result cell content release and cell lysis occur. Cresol which is the solution of cresol and lysol and it is used for glasswares, floors cleaning, etc. Chlorohexidine is savlone, which is solution of chlorohexidine and cetramide and is used in wounds and pre-operative disinfection of skin, etc. Chloroxylenol is active ingredients of Dettol. Next comes halogens. Halogens are two, that is chlorine and iodine. Chlorine is used in the form of bleaching powder. Bleaching powder is basically sodium hypochlorite and chloramine. It is used for water supply, swimming pool cleaning, for viral contamination material like hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV, etc. While iodine used is alcohol and aqueous solution for skin disinfection, example uh, betadine. So, betadine is commonly used is iodine. Halogen have bactericidal, sporocidal and virocidal activity. Next, we have oxidizing agent. They include hydrogen peroxide and paraacetic acid. Hydrogen peroxide kill microbes including their spores at 3 to 6 percent concentration. It liberates free hydroxyl radicals on decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. It is used for glass lenses, plastic implants, surgical prosthesis. 3 to 4% or 3 to 6% of hydrogen peroxide is effective. If we increase their concentration, their effects of killing cells and spores is increased. Paraacetic acid has good sterilization effect on bacteria, particularly common antibiotic resistant bacteria such as MRSA, 
Vancomycin resistant enterococcus and Clostridium difficile. It has high level of disinfectants and is used in plasma sterilization procedure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment.